flow is considered to be the ultimate state of consciousness for physical and cognitive performance. It is where you are in the zone, where studies have shown that people can be up to 500% more productive in any occupation or task they take on. But how can we get there? In this video, we will be discussing a unique way to lead us to the ultimate state of performing at our best and feeling at our best, and that is through the phenomenon of frisson. What's up, guys? My name is Travis. I'm an occupational therapist, and you're watching The Frisson Effect. The term flow consciousness was brought to light by esteemed psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, and he describes it as a highly focused mental state where the task is autotelic, meaning that the engagement in the occupation is the reward. Now let's discuss the five brainwave patterns that can be measured. Delta is the slowest brainwave, and it is associated with deep sleep. Next is Theta which is a dreamlike state where REM or light sleep occurs and is typically found in experienced meditators. Next is alpha. This is where we are aware of our external environment, but more of our attention is on our internal environment. Next is beta, which is the common wakeful alert state found during daily activities and where you probably are right now listening to this information. Then you have gamma, which is linked with heightened levels of perception and making connections to ideas. Anything above 80 Hertz will be considered high gamma or hyper gamma. Stephen Kotler, a New York Times bestselling author and executive director of the Flow Research Collective, explains that flow occurs on the border of the alpha and the theta state, and that within the theta state of flow, someone can experience what is called a gamma spike, which occurs when we have a profound insight or discovery, that aha moment. The interesting thing is that Frisson and flow are quite similar and actually overlap when we're comparing it from a neurochemical and neuroelectrical standpoint. Frisson also induces theta states, according to a study conducted in 2020, which revealed that Frisson increased theta activity in the brain. As we've talked about in a past video, norepinephrine and dopamine are the two neurochemicals that are present during frisson and are also present during flow to increase attention, motivation, processing speed, and learning. The other feel-good performing enhancing chemicals that have been documented in flow are anandamide, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins, making flow one of the most potent, productive, naturally occurring feel-good states achievable. But one of the ways we can unlock flow is by feeling frisson. Frisson can also be triggered by a sense of passion and purpose, which is one of the first steps to harnessing flow, according to Kotler. Frisson can act as the indicator to helping us unlock flow. And as we continue to identify and stack our unique triggers by finding things that give us frisson, flow will be right there as well. If you want to learn more about Frisson and how you can leverage the phenomenon of Frisson to bring more flow into your life, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Leave your comments down below as to what gets you into the zone and your strategies to help you get there. All links to Stephen Kotler's work and studies discussed are posted in the description below. And remember this, good vibes saves lives. And I'll see you in the next video.